Good morning, everybody. This is Daniel with Peace and Plenty Farms. So we're getting ready to get started this morning. I want to show you what all uh, we've got going on. This is a greenhouse that a, a door manufacturer was going out of business, and I grabbed all of these um, glass panels from them, and uh, even the roof is made out of old sliding glass door panels. But uh, this year, this, this winter, I guess, because fall is <laughs> flying by, I'm going to build a bunch of uh, shelves in there, and that's going to be uh, the greenhouse germinating room for the seedlings. So let me turn the camera around and show you what, um, what I've got going on this morning. So the two pigs are right there. We moved everything last night. We moved all of the uh, silky chicks over here, so you'll see them as we get a little closer. And uh, I thought maybe I would just walk you out here and show you what I'm doing today. And at the same time, it looks to me like we, we have bacon and we have pork chop and bacon right there. And what we call she uh, is bacon, the second one over there, she is losing weight again. She was coughing this morning when she woke up. Uh, pork chop seems to be doing pretty good. He's putting on weight. He's lively, jumping, running through the uh, stockyard. But uh, bacon, I just, I guess she's not going to make it. I'm going to try another round of the um, antibiotic that a friend of mine gave, but uh, gave me. But I may just go ahead and get a couple more pigs. Maybe he'll sell me a couple. I don't know. I'm going to check on that. But uh, here's the uh, silky coop right here, and you can see the little silkies are out this morning. So I put them in that coop last night so they know where home base is, so to speak. And uh, they're getting used to that area right there. Some of them are still in the coop. They're run They've been in and out all day, so, so they're acclimated to that coop right there. It's hard to see from here, but way over there, right there, I put that those rabbits that were living under the, sil under the silky coop. I captured them last night and put them in that dog cage that I've got right there. And it's closed off right now, that, that pipe that's sticking out there, it's closed off, but once they get a little tiny bit bigger, a little bit more acclimated to that dog cage, I'm going to pull that uh, wooden plug out of there and let them out into the stockyard. There's the uh, copper moran. No eggs yet from the uh, copper moran hen. We only have one hen. Silky, silky rooster right here, he woke up on the wrong side of the coop this morning. He has been so funny. He and the copper moran have been at it all day. He's just mad because of the new residence in the uh, silky coop it's full of uh, chicks and an extra hen and he's not happy about that so he's having a bad day he, you can just tell his attitude on on everything is bad he's walking around different he's looking at things different he's just his attitude's different this morning and I think it's because he had to sleep with all those silky chicks last night but uh, you wouldn't think sleeping with silky chicks would be a problem but it is for him right now but when they get older he'll change his mind okay so what we're doing today is we're stringing the fencing along here this morning i had to dig up a couple of these bushes there's one right there and one right there i had to dig them up and move them i had i had put those in a few years ago or a year or so ago they were right in the way of the fencing so you can see the t-posts are all in now the trick is pulling that wire down through here it's going to be really something well what i've done is i've rigged up the uh, toyota truck right here I've got the, uh, the rope tied on right there, and it comes up to my cinch block right there. I've got the chain around the tree. I've got it kind of high so that when we're pulling down through here, there is kind of a hill right here, and I wanted to try to lift it. If I lift it up, maybe it won't drag and, and cause more um, bending of the wire and whatnot. So we've got the rope running down there. Let me take you down. My sweet wife, Ingrid, is going to drive the uh, Toyota. She'll pull that forward for me. And uh, I'm going to uh, guide the fencing wire through the trees and around the T-post and all that. So I've got my trailer that I, I built, my turntable trailer. We'll call it the turntable trailer because um, it allows the uh, wire to unroll off of this um, six by six that I've got it on. So what I did is I've already pulled out a few feet because my rope was kind of short, but um, we've got the rope laid there. We've got the uh, wire hooked up and this um, 
this just turns right here and allows the wire to come off and uh, I built that so that we could feed the uh, wire down, down through these um, trees and uh, get it up against these t-posts all right so we're gonna get started we'll see how it goes and I'll give you a update here in just a minute well alrighty we got it uh, we got it rolled out but uh, it was not without an incident and there was blood involved so let me show you what's going on so this is the roll and, and you can see that um, it rolled out just like we uh, just like we planned and I have a video in there where I'm building this thing so that you can see how it's made it's got just a ball bearing uh, turntable bearing there and a ball bearing turntable right there and some plywood and two by six so there's a video in there you can check that out but so we were pull we pulling it down through here and we had to rig it up uh, three times because the rope was not uh, long enough to do it all in one pull which was fine because Ingrid was able to be out here on the road going north and I was going south with the uh, wire and we could communicate right here without any problem but um, the wire did get hung up back there and the uh, pipe that I had weaved through the uh, wire we pulled to this tree first this one here that was the first pull the uh, second pull was uh, this big tree right here and then the third time was out here with this big tree we only had to go like 10 feet there at the end but uh, I want to show you the mistake that I made pulling this and when it got just just hooked it just kind of hung up slightly this uh, okay so I had this pipe weaved through the uh, wire but what I did was the first time I weaved it through the the first section and it pulled that off there wasn't much holding it see where it pulled it off right there's the slightest the first time it got hooked on something it just pulled that off and unfortunately I was standing in the way and that pipe caught me in the shoulder and on my chin a little tiny spot of blood where it uh, tagged me on my chin but um, so what I did is I moved the pipe back three spaces and bent this over so that it, ha it had more uh, of a grab right there and I was able to pull it tight and we were able to weave it through so uh, I'm gonna pull it uh, straighten everything out clean up and we're gonna get some lunch and we'll be back out here to see how uh, what we can do thank you